Hello and welcome everyone. So we all know the problem where in a company we have our compliant corporate registered devices which are approved, secured, locked down and registered in Intune. But how do we stop non-compliant personal devices from accessing our company applications and data which are not secure? We don't want employees bringing their own devices and using their personally owned devices for work purposes. It is critical to have a well-defined bring your own device or BYOD policy and understand the risks to protect the company from cyber threats such as ransomware, hacking and data breaches. So this video will show a step-by-step -step guide and demo covering blocking personal non-compliant Windows 10 devices from accessing our applications and data. So company owned and approved compliant devices in green will be approved and registered in Intune by capturing the client device hardware ID and importing this into Autopilot. A device group will be created containing the imported Windows Autopilot device and the device will be built and enrolled using the Autopilot out of box experience. The Autopilot devices will be joined to Entra ID and Intune as Microsoft Entra joined devices and therefore will be compliant based upon Autopilot group enrollment. This will allow control over corporate devices allowing Windows Intune to reset, repurpose and recover devices if required. Personal non-compliant Windows 10 devices on the left will not be enrolled into Intune and not a member of the Autopilot device group, therefore being flagged as non-compliant. Then conditional access policies will be created targeting Microsoft 365 applications and allowing access for compliant Windows 10 devices only and requiring the device to be marked as compliant. So if the device isn't compliant, access will not be granted and the device will be blocked. As always, please like and subscribe, hit that bell for future notifications in the channel and also add your comments below uh, and let's chat. OK, so let's get started and first take a look at auto enrollment options. So from the Intune portal at intune.microsoft.com, we go to Endpoint Security, Devices, Enroll Devices and Automatic Enrollment. These are the default settings allowing all. So by enabling automatic enrollment in Microsoft Intune, um, this enrollment method enables uh, devices to enroll automatically uh, when they join or register in your Microsoft Entra ID. We can select a group here, which can be our autopiloted group of our registered corporate devices. So therefore locking this down to devices that are members of that group. So that can automatically roll uh, their Windows 10 devices. So we will show you how to create the group later on in this video. Okay, good. So here we will manually collect the hardware hash identity of a Windows device for this demo using PowerShell. And we'll upload this information um, in a CSV file later on. Capturing the hardware hash for manual registration requires booting the device into Windows. So OEMs or CSP partners who could be distributors, resellers or service providers are able to register devices for Windows Autopilot on behalf of customers using Partner Center, either interactively by uploading a CSV file or via the available APIs. So now we've got the CSV, let's import um, that Autopilot CSV file in the next section. OK, so we go to Devices, Enroll Devices and Windows Enrollment. And we click Import to import the Autopilot CSV created from the last section. This is now imported and we can see the serial number of the device. This device is actually a VMware VM for this demo, which is currently the profile status is not assigned.
Let's now create a group which is our autopilot group of our registered corporate devices. The group type is security and then we add a group name and description. And we add our first device as a member that we autopiloted during import earlier. So we are locking this down to devices that are members of that group that can automatically enroll their Windows 10 devices and that is compliant via the Windows Autopilot deployment profile. And we will create that profile now in the next section. OK, let's now create a Windows Autopilot deployment profile targeting the Autopilot group with our devices that we want to be compliant. Go to Devices, Enroll Devices, Deployment Profiles, Create Profile and choose Windows PC. The deployment mode we select is user driven and we choose Join to Microsoft Enter ID as Microsoft Enter Joined. We leave the rest as default for this demo and then we select the autopilot group which contains our devices. We can see on devices our device is listed but not yet enabled. And then in the next sections we will check licensing and reset the client device back to out of box experience and then register with Intune Autopilot. For our user we have a Microsoft Entra ID or Azure AD P1 and we also have an Office 365 license to enable us to use these features. So for further information on licensing and the different options available check out the Intune licensing requirements. There's a link in the description. OK, good. So now let's reset the Windows 10 device back to out of box experience and then register with Intune Autopilot. Go to settings, update and security, recovery, click to get started and remove everything. Please be aware this does completely wipe the device and deletes all files, settings and apps. So please make sure you check with the device owner and you back these up. Um, before you choose this option if required to do so. We now choose local reinstall to reinstall Windows from this device. Confirm current settings to remove everything and click next and reset. So we now restart the device and speed this process up a bit for the video. We log in with uh, the user and we set a pin. When we go to Windows Devices and click Refresh, we can see our device is added as non-evaluated under compliance. We need this to be compliant to allow access from this device. So in the next section, we will set a policy up for Intune compliant settings um, to make this happen. Um, so we can see our device has been joined as Microsoft Enter joined and is enabled under Enter ID devices and profile status is assigned in Intune Autopilot. Okay, let's now look and set compliance policy settings. So go to Endpoint Security, Device Compliance and Compliance Policy Settings. Now here we can choose mark devices with no compliance policy as not compliant and we can choose a period to one day. Now we create a compliance policy, we choose Windows 10 and later, we give it a name. Now there's lots of compliance settings that we could apply here, ranging from discovery scripts to device health, minimum OS version, security encryption, uh, defender for endpoint, the list goes on. But for the purpose of this demo, we will keep things simple and choose the required device um, to be a minimum OS. We can set actions for non-compliant devices such as retire device or send an email to an end user. 
And now we will apply this policy to the autopilot group, which contains our approved compliant company devices. If devices are not a member of that group, then they are flagged as non-compliant and won't be granted access with a conditional access policy we will create later on in this video. OK, click review and create. When we now go to devices in Intune, we can see the device which is marked as compliant is the device that's a member of that group we added to the policy. And there's also a device which isn't a member of that autopilot group and it remains a non-compliant device because it does not have a compliance policy assigned. Let's now look at enrollment device platform restrictions. So when we edit the default policy, we can see that personally owned devices are allowed to enroll. Let's block this and click review and create. Let's now look at Microsoft Entry device join and registration settings and test enroll settings here. So we will set this to none and see what happens when we join a Windows 10 device as Microsoft Enter registered in the next section. Let's go to settings on the device and accounts. So access work or school, and then join this device using a test user. You'll be surprised to see this actually worked and joined as Microsoft Enter registered, even though the setting users may join devices to Microsoft Enter is set to none. It's important to remember here that these devices won't actually be enrolled in Intune as they have not been autopiloted and added to the autopiloted group to be made compliant. So this is adding it to Enter ID and not Intune. Let's test this setting again with it set to none and try joining devices to Microsoft Enter ID instead of just uh, Enter registered device. So we go to access work or school again and this time we choose join this device to Microsoft Enter ID, which would in effect not be Microsoft Enter registered but Microsoft Enter AD joined. We get an error and this is denied and that's based on the setting users may join devices to Microsoft Entra is set to none. Let's allow this setting to all users and test again and then we can see joining Microsoft Entra join device is now allowed and then when we go to devices we can see this and we have two devices of the same name added. So we've got one Entra joined device with the same host name. Um, and the same device is also added as a Microsoft Entry registered device. We don't want to allow this type of joining, so we will set back this setting to none. The same setting as we can see is also visible in the Entra Admin Center. OK, so let's recap. We have uh, restricted Microsoft Enter registered joint devices and blocked personal devices in Intune by only allowing auto to piloted devices that have been imported and are a member of an autopilot device group to be set as compliant in Intune. Any other Windows device won't be enrolled in Intune and therefore will be flagged as non-compliant. So as a final step, and yes, I'm sure you're all glad that we are finishing up, um, we will set a, a conditional access policy to only allow compliant devices targeting users and applications. Let's take a look. So in the Entra portal at entra.mugsoft.com, go to conditional access, create a new policy and give it a name. Select a test user this policy will apply to and exclude our admin and global admin roles from this policy. 
So please remember that conditional access policies are powerful tools, so it's recommended to also exclude emergency access or break glass accounts to prevent any tenant-wide account lockouts when creating CA policies. We will target selected apps and not all cloud apps. We will get a warning to be careful not to lock yourself out for all client apps. So we will target selected apps and uh, Office 365 for this demo. For conditions under device platforms, we will select any device platform, but we could choose selected. And again, with client apps, we will select all. Then we click access controls and we grant access here based upon if the device is marked as compliant in Intune. Otherwise, we will not be allowed access. So we will enable this policy and we will click create. In the next section, let's test this and demo it um, to see it all in action. OK, so on a non-compliant device, we attempt to access Office 365 apps using a test user. We get a message that we can't uh, access it and we need to sign in with a different user. When we run Office from our device, we get a message that this device doesn't meet the organization's compliance requirements as the device is non-compliant. OK, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell for future notifications in the channel. Also add your comments below and let's discuss. So thanks very much for watching. Take care and see you all soon. Bye for now.